Welcome back. Again, my name is Dr. Alarida. I'm one of the senior ophthalmology residents at McGill University. And today I bring you a video as part of our complete series of videos on ophthalmic skills exam, looking at the most important tonal pen. Okay, it's one of my uh, funnest exams. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but it's very important to measure the intraocular pressure. Uh, and you'd be surprised how many times we use this in a you know routine clinic, and how important it is again for medical students to master this skill, as well as family doctors, emergency physicians. It's very good to know how to take a, 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 good, a proper pressure. This machine, per, per se, is one of the most common ones in the emergency department. There are many different variations of the tonal pen, but this is one of the most common ones that you see around the country. So most emergency clinics, family doctor clinics, will have a tonal pen accessible, so it's good to get familiar with it and know how to use it. So to begin with, what I'm going to start with is just explain to you how you calibrate uh, the tonal pen and basically how to get it started and ready for testing. Okay, so we start with this. This is the Rayshard tonal pen uh, Evia. What we do is basically we click the button here. If you hold down the button or click it twice, it'll actually calibrate the machine. Sometimes it's good to calibrate if it hasn't been calibrated for a while. So I click the button. Okay, let's pretend I'm calibrating. What I do is I hold it down, I wait for the beep, and then I actually point it downwards, okay, and I hold it by the battery pack here. So as I hold it downwards, I wait, I wait, it's going to beep again and tell me instead of down on the screen, it'll say, instead of down, it'll say up. As soon as it says up, you roll it like this, upwards, it'll beep again, okay, and it'll say good or bad. If it says good, that means it passed calibration. Then you click the button once again, and what you should see is a green light and two bars. Again, a green light and two bars tells you you're ready to check the intraocular pressure, okay? There's also a, a handy little uh, battery pack here in the back. You can just pull it out. You know, if you need to change the battery, you put a new one in, and you're good to go, all right? So don't worry about it. It's not too difficult to use, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get the patient ready, and we're gonna test the intraocular pressure. So to better help me show you how to check the intraocular pressure, I have our wonderful medical student, Sumaya, as you remember from our previous videos. Um, she's going to give me a hand, she's going to be the patient for the day, okay? So, when you begin, uh, just like any other ophthalmic exam, when you begin your tonal pen uh, you know, assessment, you want to make sure that the patient is sitting comfortably, okay? Are you sitting straight? How do you feel? Are you comfortable? comfortable? Good, perfect, because their head will have to be up straight and they have to be able to look in the distance. And you want to make sure that's very important because when you come to the towards the eye with the tonal pen tip, you want to make sure you touch the cornea right in the center along the uh, you know visual axis, okay? And that way you get a most accurate uh, measurement of the intraocular pressure. To start with, you have to put a topical anesthetic drop because you have to numb the cornea because you'll be gently uh, indenting the cornea with the tonal pen tip. So I begin just by giving them a drop. Do you mind if I put a drop in your eye? No, Okay, perfect. So we'll just turn your face like this. Okay, I want you to look up. So I'm going to also show you my technique of instilling topical drops in the eye. Okay, um, this works for me every time. That way you, the drop gets onto the ocular surface, has good penetration into the eye. So what I do is with my one hand, I basically hold the upper eyelid. Okay, we get good exposure. And then I use my pinky to hold the lower eyelid down. And I just place one or two drops right in the lateral canthal infer inferior fornix area. Okay. So you want to make sure the drop pulls there. Here's some Kleenex for you. Just gently dab your eye, please. And that way the, the drop pulls there. Again, the inferior fornix, lateral cantho area. And that way it'll stay there and it'll get absorbed into the eye and uh, you know work at its uh, best efficiency. Okay, so now we're ready to check the pressure. We're going to wait about you know, 10, 20 seconds for the anesthetic drop to work. Okay, now that our eye is well frozen, we're ready to check the intraocular pressure. So I take out my tonal pen, okay? Of course, you can check the pressure um, without putting a slip over the tip of the tonal pen, okay? So we like to use these uh, mini condoms. I happen to have a few in my pocket. And I just basically place it on like this. So what you do is you'll see like a little um, sleeve and a little roll there. You just kind of put the condom on the tip and just roll down, okay? And there you go. Once it clicks in, your condom is in place. You're ready to go, all right? All right, very nice. Now we're ready to check the intraocular pressure, okay? So now I take out my tonal pen again. All right, ready to go. I click the button, okay? You're gonna wait for the beep, green light, green means go, and the two lines mean it's calibrated with a full battery charge, so you're ready to go. So now, basically, I have the patient in a good position, as we did before. I'm gonna actually place my right hand on the forehead. I like to do that just to stabilize the patient, okay? And I have them look straight ahead with both eyes wide open. Look straight ahead, both eyes wide open. I sometimes use my finger just to lift the upper eyelid, okay, that way I have better exposure of the cornea here. And I can use my pinky to pull down the lower eyelid. Now, if you wait too long, it'll actually shut off. So you have to click the button again. Again, wait for the beep, 
Okay, you're ready to go. And now what you want to do is just tap right in the center of the cornea, okay? Very gentle, just light tap. Listen for the ticks. Right in the center. Don't move. Perfect, okay? So that's it. We have a pressure of 7 uh, at 95% internal. So that means that uh, it's a very accurate pressure, okay? And we're assured that, you know, the intraocular pressure is normal and everything is great. So very important when you're checking the pressure to check right in the center, okay? Along the visual axis, you saw how I kept my hand very steady. And it's a gentle, just very gentle tap on the cornea, barely touching the cornea, listening for the tick, the audible tick. And once you have 10 ticks, you, it will record the pressure, okay? So that concludes our video. I want to thank you again for watching. And we look forward to the next video. Thank you very much. All right, well, we wanted to thank you, uh, the team here, for watching our videos, and we hope you enjoyed them. Uh, hopefully by watching these videos, you'll get a better grasp of the uh, ophthalmic exam, and you'll be able to perfect your skills as you practice uh, with many of the instruments. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you. Saving eyes and saving lives.